I have quite a few devices sitting here right now and I'm curious if this little battery has enough power to power all these devices. Let's find out. Well, hello, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we have another offering from Golden Mate. This is their lithium iron phosphate battery with a 10 amp hour capacity. I'm very excited about this video and I want to say thank you right off the bat to Golden Mate for sending this battery out for review. As we can see here there are some specifications of the battery so feel free to pause your screen if you want to hang on to any of that information and without further ado we're gonna get right into this one so there is a QR code in case you need to use that you can scan that using your camera on your smart device so let's go ahead and open this up and as you can see the battery comes packaged very well there's nothing left inside of the box other than the user manual now you can see that the battery comes in this little bag and that's very nice it keeps it well protected so when they ship the battery it's in this little bag so very nice again here is a QR code on the back of the battery here's a look at the side and of course the front of the battery very nice clean labels the bottom side of the battery here's the top side of the battery and as you can see these terminals are epoxied very clean red for positive black for negative so we can just slide these plastic protectors off and now we can access those terminals and start using this beautiful little battery so we'll put those in the box and before we get started though I do want to take a look at this user manual so this is the battery pack model LFP1210 basically 12 volt 10 amp hour capacity safer lighter weight longer life higher power increased flexibility and wider temperature range so very very nice now here the first thing that we see is some more specifications so any of that information that you might want to hang on to you could hit that pause button and then there's some things that you might want to pay attention to and then of course here is the specifications of the battery and then right here it tells you that you can wire it 4S or 4P 4P being on the top there so then on the back there is some warranty information and another QR code in case you would wish to scan that. Now this battery is a 12.8 volt battery as you can see and the capacity or the big the size of the gas tank if you will is 128 watt hours. Now the cool thing about lithium iron phosphate batteries and this particular battery is this one will handle up to 5,000 cycles at 80% discharge. So that is wonderful. That gives you 13.69 years of runtime drawing it down 80% every single day. Now some of you watching might be curious what you would use a battery like this for. These are really good if you have solar. Maybe you've got a little solar panel and you have a small charge controller and you want something to store a small amount of energy. You can absolutely use this for solar. Now what comes to mind right off the, right off the top of my head is my micro house that I built. So if I wanted to run lights charge my GoPro, charge gadgets, run a tablet, run a television, uh, do lights and stuff like that, this battery would be absolutely perfect 
for that type of an application. And the reason I bring that up is because this is a light battery. It comes in at 2.65 pounds, so it doesn't weigh that much. Where if you look at a lithium iron phosphate battery uh, of 100 amp hour, those batteries are like 25 to 30 pounds. So if weight is an issue, but you still wanna get some things done, you can absolutely do that with this small battery. Again, lighting around camp, children's toys like those power wheels and little electric cars and stuff that they ride around, little toddlers. This battery would, would run something like that. It can run a fish finder. Um, if you're going to be wanting to air up an air mattress or something and you want to use that 12 volt uh, appliance to pump up either you know tubes for rafting or an air mattress or something like that you could use this battery for that type of an application also if you're into communications and you want to set up a small ham radio communication uh, area you can use a small battery like this and it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's not heavy it's very easy and, and mobile if you want to run an electric fan you can run this now I have a big fan that draws 75 watts so if you divide that into the watt hours I could run that fan for almost two hours off of this battery and I know that doesn't sound impressive but let's not forget the small form factor the small size and the lightweight of this battery uh, electric scooters too you could run that you can run a TV for a long time you could probably watch two full-length movies on this battery a laptop computer so my computer my laptop is a gaming laptop and I use it for video editing and it pulls about 75 watts so I would run my laptop for about an hour and a half on this battery again charging your phones your tablets here's another thing that you can think about security cameras they often run on 12 volts so if you got cameras around your premises and you don't want people sneaking around you can use a battery like this with a small solar panel and this is very discreet very easy to hide behind a rock or something like that and it'll power your cameras also home alarm systems would work very well with a small battery like this now this does have a 10 amp BMS on board the battery so that gives you lots of protection systems you have overcharge protection you have over discharge protection you have over current protections short circuit protection you have high and low temperature protection so those protection systems are very nice having a battery like this now you can run uh, the discharge rate of this is 10 uh, amps so that is fantastic now another cool thing that I like about this battery is it has a very low self discharge rate so what that means is that means I can fully charge this battery put it away come back a year later and this battery is still going to have the majority of its power still ready to go. Now, as it showed in the user manual, you can wire this four batteries in series or four batteries in parallel. Now, if you were going to run four of these in a series, you could have a total voltage of 51.2 volts. That is fantastic. Now, if you're going to run four of these in parallel, you can quadruple the amp hour rating and have 40 amp hour of capacity. Now, the current retail price at the time of me filming this video is $39.99 for this battery, but they do offer a two pack where you'll save a little money and pick up two of them for $74.99. Now, the dimensions of this battery, it is 5.94 inches wide. It is 3.74 inches tall and 2.56 inches wide. And again, it will handle up to 10 amps of continuous discharge. Now, the maximum charging input that this can take is 5 amps. Okay, let's get out the old multimeter and let's go to volt direct current. We're going to get this thing fired up and we will take a look and see what kind of voltage we have in this battery. 13.33 volts is what it has right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy charged up. So as you can see here, I have a small ETFE 25 watt monocrystalline solar panel. I'm just going to take these little alligator clips here 
and I'm gonna plug them right into this battery and we'll let this bad boy charge it shouldn't take long it's a small battery very simple easy setup okay this battery has had a little bit of time to charge so let's go ahead and see what the voltage is now 13.54 volts DC that looks good now I can use this battery okay right now I have a very simple system this is an off-grid solar system using this battery so I have a 25 watt solar panel I've got my little Renogy 10 amp Wanderer charge controller which will support a lithium iron phosphate battery I am running a 500 watt modified sine wave inverter and let's go ahead and turn that inverter on you see that I have two things plugged in the first thing that I have plugged in is this fan right here so let's go ahead and fire up this fan and see what happens there's the fan that is on low you can see it's on one it's on low now it's on two medium and three which is high and as you can see we have no problem at all running this fan off of this system and the core of this system is this little battery it's working just fine let's go ahead and turn this off and we'll come over to this device right here this is a 200 watt little heater this is a small heater I just turned it on I can hear the fan moving believe it or not I can actually feel heat on my thumb right now so this is a 200 watt heater running off of this little battery that is fantastic to be able to do that so the smaller peripherals such as maybe we need to charge this little USB battery bank we can plug that in and as you can see we can now charge this little battery bank another thing is our phone so I'll plug this in and then I'll set the camera down for a second and get my phone out okay so not only are we charging this little power station this power bank but we're also going to plug in the phone Doo -doo. and as you can hear the phone is now charging off of this system and this little battery is working just fine with this complete small tiny off-grid system I still have 13.2 volts in my battery and this little 25 watt panel will do a good job at keeping this little battery fully charged now I know that there's probably somebody out there that's wondering will this system this little battery will it run the fan and the heater simultaneously I don't know let's go ahead and find out we'll turn the heater on we're still charging the phone we're still charging the power bank and I've got heat here on the heater let's go ahead and see if we can turn the fan on fan is on low still got heat let's go to medium we got medium fan and I still have heat I'm still charging my phone I can see the little lightning bolt and the power bank is still charging let's go to high still got heat I'm on high everything is working off of this small golden mate 10 amp lithium iron phosphate battery folks that's an impressive mini system this is a mini system but to get all of this going off of this little 10 amp battery is very very impressive so hopefully this gives you guys an idea of some of the things that you can use a small battery like this for you can build yourself this little system it doesn't cost you that much you could build a system like this for probably around hundred dollars and have some off-grid solar power for free you know once you get the investment of putting this system together you can have free electricity uh, and of course you can do whatever kind of uh, power inverter you want I, I don't think that I would recommend going higher than 500 watts uh, I'm surprised that I'm actually able to do all this simultaneously I'm looking at the screen here uh, 1.3 amps I am bringing in 
and my battery is at 13.6 volts. My phone is charging, it has six minutes left. And it looks like my little power bank is fully charged now. That's nice. This battery works good. If you're interested, I'll make sure to put a link in the description box down below where you can find this battery. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.